Revelations chapter 13 makes me go, whoa, because there's just so much crazy stuff. There's stuff that I just don't understand. There, there's been so much speculation over the book of Revelations. People have written books. There's been movies. There's been all kinds of crazy apocalyptic stuff. And people have tried to get a grip on things. And treat, people have tried to figure it all out and tell you this is exactly what this means. And, and in Revelation chapter 13, we've got the beast. We've got the false prophet. We've got the Antichrist. We've got the mark of the beast, which evidently is 666, and, and it's the number of man, and it's put with permanent ink on those who have, have rejected Christ. And, and to me, it kind of just seems like a cheap imitation of the mark that, that earlier God had put on his people. And it's just further proof to me that Satan can only copy. He cannot create. He can only copy what God has done. He just takes it, and he twists it, and he perverts it. But he can't create anything. And over the years, people have tried to to figure out revelation and people a whole lot smarter than me ha have tried to figure out every detail and they've they've mapped it all out and they've got diagrams and they've got pictures and they've got numbers and all these things to, to prove everything and they, they want to identify the antichrist and they want to name names and they want to say it's this person in history or it's this person who's living right now or it, it all adds up and this is the person and so we should avoid this person. And, and they try to name all the names. And I got to tell you, I don't have a clue. I don't, you don't know about so much of this stuff. So much of Revelation just leaves me scratching my big bald head. And so much of it leaves me feeling like I've been left behind. <laughs> But here's what I do know. I, I can't figure it all out. I can't, you know, add up all the numbers and tell you here's who the Antichrist is or this is what this means or things like that. Here's what I do know. I know for sure the identity of my Savior. I can tell you with all confidence who my hope is in and who is my Redeemer and my Savior. His name is Jesus. And it really, this might be really lame, but it really doesn't matter to me who the Antichrist is. I really don't care who the Antichrist, what his name is or, or her name, because I know the Christ. Because I know the Christ, it doesn't really matter. I know the one and I live for the one whose name is above all names. So, so that's, that's the thing. I can tell you with all confidence who my Savior is. At the halfway point of, of chapter 13, it, it talks about the hope that we have. It, it, in, in amidst all the, the craziness, in amidst all the madness, there's a glimmer of hope. And it's this. It, and it tells us the way to be rescued from all the scariness, from all the stuff that we don't have figured out. It, it, to make sure that your name is written with real permanent ink in the book of life. The book that belongs to the Lamb who was slaughtered. The book that belongs to the Savior who I know, who I can name. The only detail that I have totally figured out from the book of Revelation is this, who is my Savior? That, that's the only detail, and, and I think that's enough. That, that is my hope. That is the beauty in the midst of all the madness. I, I can't tell you a lot of things. I don't have a lot of things figured out, but I know who my Redeemer is, and I know who my hope is, and His name is Jesus he is the Christ. He is the only one. He's my only hope. He's my only salvation. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Giddy up.